Hello, in this video I'm going to give a brief introduction to our next topic, which is uh, nuclear physics. That's our next topic inside the structure of matter. So we've spoken about fundamental particles in our particle physics section and how those can aggregate up to make larger particles, these composite particles, and that includes then atoms. So we've got our atomic nucleus, which is made up of um, protons and neutrons. And we've got our electrons in various uh, orbital states going around the nucleus. So in this case, in nuclear physics, as the name suggests, we're just looking at what's going on inside the nucleus. And this has a, a number of topics associated with it. Um, all of these are connected to the uh, mass energy equivalents that we've already spoken about. You know, our famous E equals M MC squared equation that Einstein came up with back in 1905 when he was uh, working on special relativity. So we've got the fact that now it's not just, as we thought maybe in classical mechanics, it's not just matter that has mass. Energy can have mass as well. Because if you divide energy by the speed of light squared, then you get the mass that's associated with that energy. So we've now got um, yeah, mass associated with energy. And this is particularly important inside uh, the nucleus of an atom because we have got the strongest of the interactions, the strongest force that we know of. Uh, so the strong interaction that is operating inside the nucleus of an atom. So there is a lot of potential energy inside an atomic nucleus. And because we've got so much potential energy, we're getting a lot of mass associated with that potential energy. Uh, so that's why this is really becoming important inside nuclear physics. Um, as as one topic where it really does count. Um, that leads on to the idea of binding energy, which we'll talk about later, as with all of these things in separate videos. But binding energy is this measure of this potential energy. You know, uh, protons and neutrons can arrange themselves in different ways inside atomic nuclei. So we're looking at changes in these potential energies inside atomic nucleus. And this means we've got differences in mass. So as we change from one type of atom to another, whether they're different elements or they're different isotopes of the same element, we're getting changes in mass uh, through changes in potential energy. So these things are interrelated. And this is how we're getting energy release. Yeah, this is how we're getting... Um, nuclear power stations and such like to work. So binding energy is a really key idea behind all of this. Um, the next topic that we'll look at uh, is then how we're utilising this uh, binding energy and this change in potential energy. So we'll look at things like um, fission and fission reactors. So this is where we're splitting the atom and fusion and fusion reactors where we're uh, fusing atoms together. So this is the sort of thing that we get in the current uh, nuclear power stations. Uh, this is what's going on inside of stars and hopefully some future nuclear power stations that will uh, get developed, um, you know, developing them at the moment, um, but not in a usable state. There's still a way to go. Um, so, yeah, we'll look at the processes of nuclear fission and nuclear fusion and how those can be utilised in power stations and, and also in nuclear bombs. Um, so, yeah, that's all important and that's all coming off of this binding energy stuff. And then the last topic we'll look at is radioactivity. Um, radioactivity is also is a consequence of atomic nuclei Sort of rearranging themselves to become more stable. So if you've got um, higher energy inside uh, a nucleus, then it might decay in some way by spitting something out, being a, maybe an alpha particle, 
is in two protons, two neutrons, or a beta particle is in an electron. So that would be an electron that's actually coming out of the nucleus. It's not one of the ones which is orbiting the nucleus. Uh, or a gamma ray, which is a photon. So if you've got higher energy, then it, the nucleus might spit out one of those and then it goes to a lower energy. So we need to describe those processes um, and how we can uh, yeah, how we can understand how that's operating and the different particles that are being emitted. So, yeah, these are the main topics. We've already looked at mass energy equivalence in an earlier video. So the videos that will be coming up are going to be on these other topics, the strong interaction, the binding energy, fission and fusion in detail, uh, and then radioactivity. Oh, and I should mention with a radioactivity, that is something which is um, driven by the weak interaction. So we'll have a little bit of a look at the weak, in weak interaction as well as part of radioactivity. So, yeah, that's giving the pathway through the next few videos.